Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a mini split pump. There's been a little confusion as to how to hook these up. It's justified confusion because their instructions really suck. Okay, so we're gonna unbox this thing. Here's the instructions. Here's your hose that goes between the reservoir tank and the pump. Here's some little mounting uh, Velcro for the, for the reservoir. This is a little tube that goes between your drain of the mini split and the reservoir. Here's your reservoir and this thing is your little indicator that tells whether it's overflowing or, or what and then there's little sensors in here and when the water gets to each sensor it tells the unit what to do whether to pump out or whether it's an emergency this taller sensor uh, indicates that it's overflowing so to shut the whole thing down um, so that's that's what those little sensors are for and then here's your pump now something very important you need to understand about this pump that I just found out one of these had burned up and some guys had installed this pump and the problem why it burnt up is because there's little caps here see these little caps so you need to take those caps off and then hook the nylon tubing up so we're gonna put these caps here we don't need that <clears throat> there's this little rubber cap here there's actually two ports so uh, your nylon tubing can hook to here and then to the pump or it can hook to here and go to the pump depending on which way your your nylon tubing is running and so in this application we're gonna take this cap off and it's gonna cap over here if you're not using one you have to cap the other one uh, otherwise it'll just run out the last thing you need to know is you have this little tube here this little tube goes right here on the top now the reason for this tube is this little reservoir sits on the bottom section of the air handler so this is going to sit at the very lowest point this tube actually needs to be installed in order to run up inside the unit so that this point is higher than the drain pan because if the drain pan overflows guess what it's just going to go right out the top here and drain on all over the wall so you have to have this on there so that it goes higher than the drain pan because you know it's it's level right so like the the highest the lowest point is going to drain out see what i'm saying so you have to put this breather tube on and it runs behind the air handler uh, just higher than the, uh, than the drain pan. First thing we're gonna do is take these wires and feed them down through the hole parallel to the copper tube. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the wires here. We're just going to follow the other mini split wires. Just like that. Make sure your power's off. You don't want to do this while the power's on. Okay, so the first thing you have to do when wiring this is make sure that you're wiring it either for 120 or 240 volt. So right here is the instructions for 120. I've checked the voltage on this. I know that it's a 220 circuit, so I'm going to be using these instructions right here. <clears throat> now, if you look at these wires, okay, there's actually no orange wire on these instructions. This is an alarm wire, but it does say what it's for right here, but it's just in a picture. You see how it has a little bell? That's for alarm. We're not going to use the orange. We're just going to snip it back and tape it to itself right here. That way it doesn't get used. These two wires break the circuit. So you're only trying to break the main voltage to the air handler because this only, and the wires are so small because they only run this fan motor inside here, which is very low amperage. Now these instructions are confusing because it has three wires that go all the way across. And this is not a very good representation of what the circuit actually looks like. This is just to indicate line. So all of these wires intercept line. So you have different configurations. So we have, this is gonna be your power to the pump. 
and this is going to be power to the pump. So this needs to be wired in all the time. So we're going to go to terminal 2, and this one's going to get wire netted to this hot lead right here. So we got a hot lead here, and this white is actually hot. It's not neutral. It's, it's 115 volt. This is 115 volt for 230 volt single phase. Wire the blue wire to terminal 2, and then the brown wire is going to go right here, and then your ground wire is going to go right here. This is going to break circuit. So your gray wire is going to get wire netted with your brown and your hot. So these need to go together. And then your purple is going to go to terminal one. That's it. That's all you're going to do. And these are all pretty much wired the same. So maybe the colors differ, uh, differ a little bit. But that's the essence of it, is you need power to power the pump, and then you need to break circuit. And this littler wire is going to be the one to break circuit, and this bigger wire is going to be the one to power the pump. And you need to make sure that the pump has power all the time, that way it's not like you're hooking <coughs> blue and brown to the terminals, because if this, <coughs> if this reservoir fills up with water, it'll cut power to the pump, and that's not what you want. So let's go ahead and wire it up. So we're going to take this little tube, and it's got to run up behind here. It's going to sit right like that. We're going to put some, uh, some Velcro on the bottom there, and it's going to sit right on the top of the plastic. Now you want to make sure to hook up the hose with a clean connection. Just cut off the end if you're replacing it. Make sure that this is going in the correct direction. The, the instructions indicate that this is the suction and this is the discharge. And I put a little zip tie on this to make sure that it doesn't pop off. There you go. There we go, all done. Okay, so that's it on how to install a mini split. Uh, condensation pump. The only thing is this should not be a substitute for the actual instructions. Please, please read the instructions on every single mini split pump. Make sure that you're getting it correct. These aren't installed on every single unit so you might have forgotten something or you know your pump will, the colors and the wires could differ from this one. They are not complicated but you do have to read those instructions and the only thing weird that I can see from the instructions is that you have those three lines of, of wire going across that are supposed to represent line for the house. Hot, hot, and ground. Don't let that throw you. All your wires junction together in the way described in that photo is just not standard per most wiring schematics. So just put your thinking cap on, read the instructions, get it right the first time because these pumps aren't exactly cheap. And 
it does take time to install. So just get it right the first time. That's it. Have a good day. John with Ability Air.